You are looking lovely, both of you, color coordinated. Thank you, yes. <laughs> yeah, always. <laughs> always color coordinated? Yes. Most of the time. Most of the time. Especially for Diwali, this is. This is especially for Diwali. How yeah. do you normally celebrate Diwali over the years? Have you ever been shooting films during Diwali or Diwali was a time for the family? Sometimes we, I have done shooting also. So Diwali guys seen many times we have done. And, uh, but of course uh, once children are born, the celebrating Diwali was different. Now with the grandchildren it is still very interesting. And people in Mathura may also be asking you, Hamare saad Diwali banaiye. Yes. The most of the festival they invite me. Now recently Raksha Bandhan was there. So I was there and I tied Raks, uh, Rakhi to so many people. Is she the person who decides how his festivals are going to be celebrated? Is she the one who is the, runs the house or the children have taken over or you've taken over? I mean, uh, well now uh, she always you know says what she wants and I'm the one who most of the time executes it for her uh, <laughs> so that support is always there and every festival we love celebrating to the fullest as a family are you all similar people or very different you all are dressed similarly but are you all very different people very different personalities yours and hers are we uh, no not actually to some extent little different she is for Sometimes, mm. but otherwise, even if the question comes for a festival and all, so we all dress up the same way, celebrate the same way. The puja part, jo karna hai, sab kuch karta. Yeah, I think we are workaholics mm. and uh, quite strong-headed women. You are a family of lots of women, yes. right? You and your sister. Yes. Your sister has twins. Yes. Sita or Gita, Sita. Way, <laughs> twin daughters. You can say Sita or Gita in a way. You have uh, uh, two, two daughters. daughters. So it's a very uh, sort of woman-oriented family. Yeah, yes, and I have one grandson. You have one grandson. Smart. Yes, he's, he's the first one, first born. So wh what does poor old Dharamji do amidst surrounded by all these lovely women? He's very happy. <laughs> yeah, the men in our family are perpetually Kishan Kanaya. They are Kishan Kanaya. Always have, all all always have yeah, women around yeah. him. And I know Dharamji always liked to have women yeah. around him. He always felt good about that. Uh, but you know, if I were to turn the clock back, you started off in your teens yes. as, uh, in, in cinema in the late 1960s. Yes. And I used to read Stardust in the early 70s and always there would be your photograph with your mother. Mama, yes. Amma was, Jaya Chakravarti was always in every uh, photograph with Hema Malini. Yes. She accompanied you to every show? Everywhere, because I, I actually wanted her all the time. So you she, wanted Yeah, yeah, I wanted her. Initially, because I don't know much how to deal with people, so she was supporting me and she was coming. Then later on, uh, when I started doing too many films and uh, so many shifts, you know, then uh, she started sending her sister, that is my aunt, she used to come. But I will always have somebody with me, because, my own people. My because you see the film gossip magazine would say that they wanted to protect Hema Malini <laughs> from this big bad world of Hindi cinema. Is that true or not? That they were very protective to, to, of some, To some extent, yes. That was in her mind. What was the most difficult thing for you, coming from a relatively conservative family from yes. Chennai to Mumbai at a very young age, acting with the great Raj Kapoor in your first film, Sapno Ka Saudagar, how difficult, what was the most difficult thing, learning Hindi or just adjusting to Mumbai? No, no, adjusting to Mumbai is all a secondary because we are only concentrating on the work because I have given this job, so you have to act, now I don't know acting. That time there was no institute or anything to teach, you know. So only the director used to, whatever he says, I have to do it. So, so my main concentration was only that I better do the best. So my mother is sitting on the side and keeps telling me, come on, do the best, don't leave it. So she was my inspiration because of her, whatever I am here today. So it was, she designed everything. She, she wanted me to come to, Ch because we were living in uh, Delhi those days. So at the, when I was around 12 year old, uh, she took, uh, she t asked my father to shift to Chennai to make me learn more uh, classical Bharatanatyam dance, Sikh Nikali. So we shifted there then, then so many film producers were hovering around there in South. So they wanted me to act in films. They took me also in one film and they rejected me also. That became a, you know, I, a heart broken I was. I said, what happened that uh, they only came, they took me and then they rejected me also. Maybe I was not good enough that time. 
but uh, then then i took it as a challenge ki i have to do it now because in the beginning initially it was not my rejected. plan the great hema malini was actually rejected yes rejected. by a filmmaker in tamil nadu when yes. he was starting off yes yeah you know, she's talking about how she there were no film institutes yeah. and she really came her mother almost choreographed her career yes uh, you on the other hand uh, had the benefit perhaps of being always seen as hema malini's daughter yes was that a burden or a boon ki whenever you went to a film set they would say ye hema malini ki beti hai i mean you know it's something that is obvious and it's there and i am born and i feel i'm blessed to be born into this family and have these two wonderful people as my parents um having said that initially i i mean you know we it it didn't strike me that i am so and so's daughter it's only when i grew up and reached a certain age i knew that yeah my parents are famous and uh, i was very naive very innocent and i joined the industry started acting at the age of 18 i started as well um and then uh, little later when i got into it it was then that the comparisons you know came on to me and uh, i think something like that initially you feel is you're not used to it you don't know why it's happening and it's your own mother but i think people like me who belong to this industry have to learn to deal with it and move on did she push you into cinema saying you have to become an actor I you have to learn bharatnatyam dance she pushed me to do dance always she pushed yeah me from a very young age dance 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 and i was focusing a lot on my football and athletics and sports uh so dance we started learning then and i got in, inclined towards odissi not bharatnatyam uh, films is something i wanted to do from a very young age uh, my bedroom was right in front of my mother's makeup room and i grew up every day in the morning seeing her doing makeup getting ready for shoots while i had to go to school <laughs> um but i used I, to come and drop you in the school you used to drop me yes. she, she would drop you yeah, yeah, every, every, every day, day you would drop her to school yeah. yeah i was sitting in the car i used to drop And, but, but football was your first love actually right yes, even yes. before films you sort of wanted yes, to become yes, a, yes. a footballer i played absolutely <laughs> <laughs> i played for 7 years um and i i was selected for the national team as well not yeah. bad you, yeah. so you uh, you played football at a national level i didn't go and play Uh, for uh, some other reasons hmm. uh, but uh, you were selected i was selected not bad the football and the family but dance was also something yeah because that I, united... i was performing everywhere so she used to come with me she loves to see me doing the makeup and the dance but many people asked uh, started asking ki aapki beti bhi dance karti hai na karti hai na sure they are then i used to say nahi karti hai then i said everybody is asking better learn now so i said bharatanatyam sikho so she said she was scared ki i'll be very strict mother because i want the way whatever is planned but she will she said no i want to learn odissi i said learn any classical dance i don't mind then she started learning but there was a problem because dharam ji was not at all for dance dono betiyan ko kabhi dance nahi sikhana hai nahi sikhana nahi sikhana they should not gungru angru bilkul samne nahi aana chahiye this is the condition he put but uh, my mother we we are all you know we were in in south indian family the, the dance music is very important this is part part of our life so all the children have to learn some kind of art so we were very keen on her learning dance so dharam ji says no so that became her support so i will go for sports <laughs>